Hello guys, this is Minu92 for Productive Gamers, and we're back with another episode of the Advanced Visual Basic Operating System, and today we're going to be doing our desktop. Now, it's been a couple of weeks since I last did an episode, and I'm sorry about that. I was on holiday and I had other stuff, and I've also been making loads of cool graphics to uh, go into the OS as well. So we're going to jump straight on in, and we've just got our desktop VB page. Uh, and last time, you'll see that we uh, made a splash screen. That was in episode one. And then last week, or whenever, <laughs> whenever the last episode was, uh, we created our login screen with full account creation and all that good stuff. And you see that we've got asterisks that block out your passwords, and no one else can see. And this is where we got to now. Okay. Um, Right, so this is where we are, and what we want to do is straight away put in a pitch box. And now we're going to be creating our background of the desktop is going to be in a picture box instead of just on the form itself, so that we can change it through the use of the resources folder. And we'll be doing some coding on that later on, and that is how we're going to be able to change the background depending on what you've got selected in the options menu. Okay, so all we need to do here is straight away we're going to put on the background image which I am going to select as our first desktop resource and then just hit this little arrow in the corner of the picture box go size mode, stretch image and then dock in parent container and that will cover up the previous uh, the previous form however I'm just going to share because that seems to have Go on, solid awry. Yes, yeah, so it's 1366 by 768. Dock that in the parent container like that. So everything's the normal size, and this is what our desktop is going to look like. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add in the orb that's going to take us to the start menu. Now, this is going to cause a problem. I've been spending the last like hour or so trying to get a fix around it, but it's not going to be possible. Uh, without using some external stuff. So for now, until I do find uh, a fix, we're going to put in a button, we're going to get rid of all that text, and then we want to go to our background image again, select that as your start menu icon. Mine is going to be 64 pixels squared, so we're just going to go over to size and put the right one on there. 64 by 64 uh, and then we are going to go back up to wherever it said background image and we're going to click on the background image layout we're going to select that to be stretch and it'll make it slightly smaller now there is no way to get around this unfortunately uh, without using like I said some uh, external stuff that I've had a look at but it doesn't seem possible at the moment you can't have a transparent background on images, that's why every, unfortunately everything in Visual Basic has to be a square. Uh, if you're going to use it as a like a proper control, this stuff doesn't over here because this is just uh, that's just on on the picture, so that doesn't matter. But when you want to use it, you're not you're not able to. Uh, and this has been a problem, I think, forever in Visual Basic. So uh, we've got to live with it. So we'll have to keep it like that for now. Um, we don't want. I don't want to have too much on the desktop. I want it to be quite sort of open plan, as it were. So that's all I'm going to put on there for now. Although, having said that, actually, we're going to put on a clock. I think that'll make it look nice. So to make a clock, all you need to do is go up to uh, label, get a label out, and it doesn't really matter what you put in there. You could just as well leave it blank if you want, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, then we're going to go to up to the font tab, and I'm going to make mine about 16, size 16, in Beavis font, which is not actually installed normally. If you go onto defont.com, then you can uh, find out where you can get that. Now, we're not going to know how much space this takes up, so I am just going to put in. Uh, Say zero 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 zero, and that'll just uh, 
see how much space we've got. Now, again, this is going to be a problem in that it's transparency. Although it kind of does exist, it takes the colour of the background, which is going to be what's on the picture box behind the uh, behind this picture. So that's grey, which is really annoying. So um, we'll put one in there for now. I'll fix it later, but we can have one here for now. Uh, you can select any colour you want, but I'm going to leave it like that. So after that, what we want to do is go up to go into our coding platform, so just double tap the thing, the label, and that's going to be label one dot underscore click, and then, oh no, sorry, I've got that wrong, what you need to do before that, I haven't, I haven't used all this in a while, uh, in fact, we can just get rid of that, we're going to have a timer, and that timer is going to be how we make our clock. So we're going to go and pick up a timer, just put that anywhere on the screen. That's still there, okay, and then just double tap on the timer, so timer1 underscore tick, and then we're going to say label1.text, which is the name of the label we've just selected, label1.text equals time of day time of day. Like that. And that's all we need to put. So that should work now. Um, I might put, I might change the background colour on this to uh, something a bit less bright. In fact, I might just put it on black for now. Uh, but you will still see it, unfortunately, and I'll make text white. Okay. So that's a clock. And here's the button for our start menu, so double tap that, so it's going to be button 1 underscore tick. Now this is just going to open up a new form, so all we want to say is start, uh, let's call it start menu, uh, dot show, and then parentheses, and then it'll say it's not declared, doesn't exist, that's not a problem, we're going to go up to project, add windows form, and we're going to call this form exactly what you just selected and typed in, so start menu. Okay, so that's what it looks like, and we'll go back to here, and now that is fixed. Okay, so when you hit the button, this is going to show, and so this is our start menu, like I said, and put your size as your screen resolution again, so I'm going to have 1366 by 7, 768. Um, but don't forget, you've got to get rid of all of your form border, so form border style to none. Then you may just want to check over your size because that tends to get changed. So 1366 by 768. And then this one won't be as much of a problem as the desktop. So we're going to go background image, local resource. Actually, no, we're going to go back on project resource because we've got to uh, have. That's a good point. We've got to have another picture box. So, as we did with the desktop, we want to get a picture box. There we go. And then just double type your start menu so you can get the code up beforehand. And then, oh, get rid of that. And this we want to fill the whole screen as before. So, I'm going to put size mode to stretch and dock in parent container. And that's the right size, okay. So we can don't need to worry about any of that now. And then for the time being we'll come back here and select the back uh, the background image as being our resource. And it needs to be a resource because if it's not, it will be okay to work on your computer, but when you distribute it, if that's what you plan to do, it's not going to work. So I'm going to put in all of our start menu colours, which I've got, I think I've got 8 or 9, so we're going to have 1, 2, uh, one, two 3, 4, 5, you can just hold down control for this, 
and pick up the ones you want. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different login, uh, not login, star menus. And we're gonna put the default one on now, which for me is just gray. And you'll, you'll notice that all of the graphics look pretty similar in a way that uh, the login screen does and account creation and all that kind of stuff. They're all pretty much the same. And I wanted to get some kind of continuity throughout the whole operating system. So that's why I chose to have similar graphics. But for the start menu, you'll be able to have nine different backgrounds. And they'll all be this kind of thing, but different colors. And that's, uh, that's something that I wanted to get in. Okay, so with all of these, you can just make sure you anchor everything to all the sides and go back to the desktop. Make sure you anchor all of that. And your button is going to need to be anchored to the left bottom, bottom left. Yep, bottom left, okay. Um, and that is pretty much it. Okay, so we're going to go back to the start menu. And for now, I think I am actually going to fit in a couple of programs, although we won't be using them straight away. So we're going to use picture boxes for all of them. Now, the size, I'm going to have to remember, is going to be 240 by 135, if I'm correct. And then, for me, I've made these black boxes, and all I need to do is just cover them up just like that. And then I'm going to go up to background image. And this can be a local resource because uh, it shouldn't matter. You only need to have stuff in your normal resources folder that comes with your program if you're going to be altering them and allowing the user to select different ones. So that's that. Uh, I'm going to have the browser as this top one. And I've made all these graphics myself. So uh, hopefully you like him. Didn't take that long, but uh, all in fact the whole operating system has just been done by. I've done all the graphics for that. I've used some of the textures from the internet, but I've done all the graphics. Okay, so there's our browser on. We don't need to worry about coding anything just yet, but we're going to put one for all of these, and it's going to be a nightmare trying to remember every size for these. So I've got to try and think about this carefully. Uh, the height is going to be the same as that, which was 135, and the length is basically everything is a multiple of 16 by 9, which is widescreen resolution. Apart from these altered ones, the uh, the browse one was, and then I've just split that in half, so it is 120, I believe. That looks about right. So you want to put them just in line and you can check because I've got the black box so you can see there's a little line on all the sides so just make sure that's completely filled up then we'll go back up to background image select local resource and choose your next one which for me is settings I've got this little one and that's the one we're going to be using for the uh, options to change all the colours and stuff, but we'll probably get onto that in another episode because uh, I'm not sure if we've got time right now. Okay, so what we want to do now, let me just quickly check that. Yep, uh, what we're going to do is put another couple of our boxes on there. So we want one of these, in fact, I can just copy and paste, pop that underneath. I think that was actually bang on, perfect, and I'm just going to change that to the notepad program, and then finally copy and paste, because we know they're all the right size, until they fit, and then change that one into desktop. Now this is the only one we're going to be playing with today. Uh, because that's a, that'll probably be all we've got time for, really. So, what we want to do 
is anchor everything to for this set it's going to be the left hand side because uh, that'll be where the in fact top every side that isn't the right side so top left and the bottom top left and the bottom and then about halfway through all of these we just uh, put them on the right but we won't have enough applications to do that at the moment Okay, so depending on your screen resolution, that will get pulled out to uh, whatever size your screen or your monitor is going to be. So with desktop, we're going to double hit this and we're going to say uh, desktop.show and then also me, which is this form, so start menu. Dot, oh, dot close, and that's just going to save on uh, resources that your computer has to handle if you've not got a particularly powerful computer and having multiple windows open kind of kills it, so this is just uh, trying to support all of the computers if you want to be using this. And then we can go to desktop as well and uh, select this, so under the start menu dot show which we put in earlier on we want to say me dot cl me dot close, and that is just exactly the same as we've done before. The desktop is going to close itself after it's open the start menu, so you probably won't see anything. So we're just going to try this and see if it all works, and then I think we'll call it a day. Okay, so here's our splash menu, and we go straight into the login screen. It would be nice if I had a way to bypass having to put this in every time I'm debugging, but it's alright for now. I might put a guest login in at some point. Okay, so this is our main desktop, and you'll notice the clock's not working at the moment, so I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, it should be, but maybe Windows 8 doesn't support that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so we can hit this, and as you see, we come straight into the start menu. And although you won't be able to tell, the desktop's now closed. So when we do this, it's going to swap round. So we go onto the desktop, and the start menu will close. So just like that. And this is what the uh, start menu is going to look like. We're going to have a picture box up in the top right hand corner, and will also allow you to select your own avatar from your computer, your standard Windows computer, and it will automatically resize it to fit in that box, and that'll uh, that'll be your account picture. And that'll just be another thing that goes straight into your options and you'll be able to alter everything. We'll have a big screen full of different options with preview boxes so you'll be able to see what is going on before it gets uploaded. Okay, well I think I'm going to call it a day there on this episode. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time.